Hey everyone, hope you're well. Happy Wednesday to you. Got a couple items going out in today's mail run. We have a Deerdorf case in forest green. We have a 8x10 Gen 3 field case. This is for film holders if you don't know what it is. Do go and check it out on the website. That's in charcoal. And then I have a new case. This is a, for a VDS 8x10. A little more obscure camera. But a customer who placed an order on the website said, Hey, can you make me a, a camera case? And I said, okay, well, let's ship it together, save you some cost on postage. Um, and uh, they were willing to wait a little bit longer. So this is in lead. You can probably see there is a slight difference. The lead is a little bit darker than the charcoal. Um, but uh, this interior case, the interior of this, excuse me, is 14 by 14 by five and a half inches. 14 by 14 by five and a half inches. So if you have a camera that will fit, Inside of that, uh, if it's bigger than a Deerdorf, smaller than 14 by 14 by five and a half, you can drop it in there. Or if you have a little bit of room, you can also throw your dark cloth in there, focusing cloth, fold it up and put it inside. And then lastly, we have a 6612 lens case with no rear pocket, and that's in Caribbean. Um, just uh, giving you guys a little update. Um, prices will probably be going up after the first of the year. Um, I'm going to be crunching my numbers because I don't want to be raising them any more than really necessary. But materials like Cordura, uh, zipper tape, nylon webbing, everything nylon thread has gone up for me. The cost of the foam that goes into these has all gone up. Uh, and that's all, and I've spoken with my suppliers, and that's all because of logistics issues. Uh, material sourcing. Um, the Cordura that I use here is made in South Korea. Um, and the reason why I use that versus American made is because the quality is better for the uh, for, for my needs. Uh, the finish is better. Uh, I like that it's a little bit stiffer than the stuff that I can get here in the United States. There's more color options because I know a lot of you like colors. But uh, looking at my numbers and the metrics that I need in order to just simply keep my doors open um, at the profit margin that I need to operate at, uh, I will need to do some price adjustments on things, uh, especially items that are a little more labor intensive, like camera cases, field cases, etc. cetera. Uh, things like uh, film holder sleeves uh, won't be going up as much, but these will probably be going up um, roughly eight to ten percent same thing with camera cases um my goal with everything business wise is to always offer the best quality that i can i don't want to skimp on quality and that means quality materials that means doing the work correctly the first time and that also means uh making sure it's done right just overall i want to my goal is to not ever offer something less to you than I would want to use myself. So while my products have gotten better because my skills have increased over the last five years, um, and that's never going to stop. I mean, things are going to get better 10 years from now um, if I decide that I want to continue on this crazy train that we're on. But I like it. So I like the uncertainty. I, uh, it's part of being a small business owner. Uh, especially in a place like California currently. Um, and there's a lot of uncertainty, but I'm not afraid of that. Uh, I'm grateful that I have that outlook on life because I know there's a lot of others who are uh, shaking in their boots. But um, I trust you guys um, enjoy what I'm making for you. And uh, obviously, if you're not, then the orders stop coming in. But the orders keep coming in, so I'm very grateful. And uh, a little post that I made up the other day talking about uh, the reward uh, for a job well done or for hard work or something like that is more hard work. And I resonated with that because I don't mind hard work when it's something that I really feel passionate about. And operating a business is not an easy thing. It's not super hard when you don't complicate it. But I've had to learn about running a business. And that means running a business profitably. Um, 
I enjoy tools. I enjoy, I guess you'd say toys. For me, that's kind of sewing machines. I like the tech. But I'm kind of topped out right now with what I need. So uh, going forward uh, in this next year, um, and this post was not going to be including this, but I figured I might as well throw it in because I know people have asked you know, about expansion. I've had investorship um, opportunities uh, proposed to me from customers actually, people who wanted to be investing into the business, but I declined. And that's simply because I, I wanna be able to offer the best product and that means, meaning I need to operate on my time. But um, the current state of things here in California um, with costs continually going up, um, especially things like rent, insurance, um, the smaller things that affect some businesses like fuel prices doesn't affect me as much because my business is not reliant on deliveries and trucks and things. Um, but the cost of materials, the cost of rent, the cost of electricity, um, it, those do affect things. And uh, I am not afraid of working a lot. I like to work, but the, the, there's a point when you have to say, am I, is this worth it? Um, I do think it's worth it, but I have other industries that I'm starting to develop products for uh, in addition to photo stuff. So that's just part of the evolution of a business is that if you stay within one little niche uh, of which primarily large format photography is a very small niche within a very small niche. Um, if you corner yourself, you can have, you know, uh, lots of opportunities to make great things, but the amount of time that's involved with creating these things from the ground up, when you might only sell one or two or three, uh, maybe in a year, whereas if you could develop products that you could be selling a hundred of, maybe even 50 of, you know, for a, for a, for a niche industry, even 50, um, when you've done the product development once correctly, uh, you now have more time to be able to dedicate towards production. So that means faster turnaround for customers and also means uh, more profit for the business. And profit is, you know, one of these things that a lot of people think, that you, you know, a business should be doing things for free um, and I have two words for that fuck that I don't know anyone who works for free unless it's for someone that they love a friend that they're helping move or because it's just put within their heart to do it for free everybody needs to eat everybody needs to pay their rent or their mortgage or their school bills or their food bill etc everyone has to earn something and um, as a business owner you know who would like to take on employees one day who would like to grow the business to new uh, new heights um, part of that means you need to be profitable and this business over the last five years has certainly made profit um, but most of that profit has been returned back into the business in terms of the infrastructure. Um, everything here in this shop has been paid for by profit from this business um, and working day jobs uh, in addition for the first three years, uh, four years of this business. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried um, about my future but I do want to continue to offer these products because I, you know, I have customers now in 43 countries and uh, I am happy to flex that because that means I'm, I've done something right. Um, I have customers in Middle East, Southeast Asia, Asia, um, every state in the nation, um, the United States, uh, Central, South America, you know, I have customers around the world, and I'm glad to say that because it means I'm doing something for this community and people are willing to support me in that. 
and I want to support you with what I'm doing. But uh, this isn't a, meant to be a rant or anything. I'm just uh, letting you guys know that there's a lot of things that um, are expected of small businesses now. Like you have to run a Black Friday sale. You have to do this. You have to run a sale for Labor Day. You have to run a sale for this. I will not be running a sale ever again. And that's my public statement going forward. I will not be running a sale ever again. Uh, sales are a way to try and get money in the bank because either a business has too much inventory, which means they've overproduced. I do not have inventory unless it's on certain items like scanner covers because black scanner covers just move quickly enough that it makes more sense for me to make them 10 at a time. So I, I do have those in stock so they can ship quickly. But the product doesn't really change. The production quality stays the same, even though I make them and I have them ready to ship. But when it comes to things that are more custom and tailored, um, those are all made to order. And that allows me to have uh, smaller margins, but it also means lower price for you as a customer. And I don't wanna be greedy with anything. I want to make sure that you as the customer are paying what I believe is a fair price for the, the product that's being offered. And um, just recently, I won't say any names, but if they're watching this, they'll know who they are. I had somebody ask me about making a camera case for a very expensive camera. It starts with a G, ends with an I. Um, they, they touted that they paid something like $7,000 for the camera. They said, oh, it's a very expensive camera. I just want the best case possible. Can you make one for me? And I said, yes, I can make one for you. Okay, well, how much is it gonna be? And I quoted them a price with shipping and they they well, they came back with you know emoji faces of surprise. And they're like, wow, that's expensive. And I was thinking to myself, you spent $7,000 on a camera Plus, probably quite a bit more in lenses because they were talking about, you know, the ultimate setup that I've always wanted. And I thought to myself, you know, if you're scoffing at me quoting you $175 for a case to house a $7,000 camera, maybe I'm in the wrong market. Because... I'm here to provide a level of insurance, so to speak, for equipment that's really not getting made anymore. And I'm passionate about that because I wanna see that gear get used. I wanna see that gear continue its life with new people using it. And, you know, things like this, you know, it might seem trivial, and I understand that, you know, my stuff is not cheap and it will never be cheap because I am not cheap and I do not intend on ever offering a cheap product. Um, if I offer something, I want it to be the best quality that I can put out. It, I want it to be something that I will always want to use myself um, and I want to be happy with it. So sometimes that means, even though you're only receiving one item that you've ordered, that doesn't mean I haven't potentially made two or three mock-ups before the one that I sent to you. Because there might have been ideas that I started with that I decided to cancel or revise, and those revisions made sense to me, but you as the end of customer are receiving a finished product that might have taken me more iterations than I initially planned on. Um, I've certainly become more efficient with how I design things and standardize some things, but uh, there's a lot of hidden costs, especially with, with custom products. And when somebody sends me dimensions and asks me to make a case for something, and I'm happy to do that, and when I quote them a price that I feel is fair, for the labor that's involved and they scoff at me, it makes me wonder, you know, am I in the right business? And do I want to continue to do this? 
And I recognize that most people are okay with paying a price that I quote to them. I am serving a much smaller industry. My products are much more specialized, but I like that because I don't really see anyone else offering that with the color options and things that I do. And I, I like to be, a, you know, a more specialty industry, but there are some things that going forward in the next year, um, I'll have to adjust. And those are adjustments for only for me, or those are adjustments that will be applied to customers and products and projects that I'm willing to take on. Because I can't take on everything. There's only one of me and there's only 24 hours in a day. And usually I'm up about 19 or 20 of them. So whether it's working or doing other things for the business. Because a, a lot of people you know, who have only worked for somebody else don't understand the logistics around a business, especially when you're a one person entity. Um, whether you're a corporation or a proprietorship or whatever form of business that you're in, when you're a one man band doing everything from emails to shipping and everything in between, um, there's a lot of costs that are not paid for. So um, I want to continue to serve this community, the photographic community in, in particular, but there are other industries that I'm going to have to start branching into. And uh, those will be se separate, public, you know, posted s separately uh, for the time being. Um, and those are completely other avenues that will be separate from here. But, um, you know, a business has to be profitable if it wants to stay in business. And it has to be profitable to the level that is required to justify continuing to do it. You know, if you make it, if you make a dollar on a transaction that's $100, that's really not enough profit if you have one sale a day. When you're Amazon, you can make a dollar of profit on a $100 item because you're selling a billion items a day. And your, your metrics are much different than a small business. So for, um, well, the, just to round this up, the, uh, yeah, there's uh, some things that I'm gonna have to consider going forward. Um, so, uh, over the Christmas, uh, the end of this month, um, I'll be uh, probably going through some emails. And uh, if you get an email from me, that means I'm interested in your project. Um, if you don't receive an email me, from me, it's not it's not a personal thing. It's more just I, I either can't take it on right now and I'm not going to start the, the email chain um, because it's easier for my brain to see an unopened email and say, okay, what is this? Is this something I want to take on right now? Um, so again, it's not a personal thing. Uh, yes, some people might say it's unprofessional, but I say that's just how it works best for me. And uh, you just have to, you know, you're just gonna have to deal with it. So if that's not okay with you, I can understand, but that's just the way that works best for me at this point in time. Um, yeah, thanks very much, guys. I'm sorry if this uh, seems like a rant. It was not intended as a rant. It's just more of a little informational uh, FYI as to the current state of things. Um, and hopefully you can understand a little bit more from a business perspective of what small business owners like myself um, might be going through. Um, this is my, you know, this is my business. And my business is putting out high quality goods to people who appreciate high quality goods. So $7,000 cameras in a $175 case to me, that seems like a pretty good trade-off for adding a little bit of bump protection and a little bit of resale value because I have a feeling that somebody spending $7,000 on a camera is probably not going to treat it as justly as a well-used Deerdorf has been. Um, I have a feeling that... that camera would probably be sitting in the case quite a bit more than it'd be sitting on top of a tripod. But maybe I'm wrong. 
that's just maybe me. Cameras are meant to be used, just like cars are meant to be driven. Uh, but that's my philosophy. So, over and out, guys. This uh, will probably be the last video post I'll make for the year. Um, I might make one around Christmas. We'll see. But um, be well. Spend time with your families. Hold them close. Hold them dear, especially if you can't see them because of whatever things are going on near you. And uh, know that from my little shop here in Southern California to you, wherever you are in the world, I appreciate you. And I can show that appreciation by making you some gear. But that's up to you guys. Over now.